Oh wow, this is tough. If you could only choose one item from each of the luxury brands, your absolute favorite or best luxury item from that brand, but you can only choose one, <laughs> Oh wow, that is so hard. Welcome back everyone. If you're new here, hello, my name is Amy and today I am doing a super fun tag. It was created by my lovely friend Karis, LV lover CC. Thank you so much for tagging me and of course I will be tagging my favorite people as well. I will link their names down below so hopefully you can do it. I'm also wearing her beautiful Karis earrings from Ana Luisa which I will link down below as well because it's her tag so I want to wear her earrings. Okay, I've been holding it on my hands for a little while. First off, Chanel. Of course, it has to be my classic flop. I was just thinking about it the other week when I get really, really old, like I'm talking maybe like 80, 90 years old, if I can live that long, and I really don't need that many things, but I still want to be a fashionista and I still want to carry my favorite, absolute favorite, holy grail pieces. I'll literally wear them till I cannot, but at that point, I probably don't need, you know, 10 or more bags in my collection. So what are the absolute, absolute bare minimum that I would be able to live with and I had to choose a classic flop no matter what. I do have quite a number of minis in my collection and in fact I will be releasing a mini bag collection video next week. Definitely stay tuned and subscribe if you don't want to miss out. This is the small size so it really is the closest to a mini bag. The fact that it is a classic flap, it's a proper shoulder bag. It's just the most elegant of all Chanel bags in my opinion. Also love the fact that this bag is so versatile that you could just double it up, wear it, wear it as your evening bag. So literally, if I can only wear one Chanel bag forever for the rest of my life, if for whatever reason I had to sell everything from my collection, I will still be keeping this one because it is the absolute most beautiful color, size, and just style of bag. This was from the 21A Dove Gray color, which is amazing. It has a little bit of a blue undertone, but it's really neutral. It doesn't even look blue at all. It's just the most perfect, perfect special shade. Up next is Dior. I have only one handbag from Dior. I do have several things from Dior. I have uh, a couple of earrings from Dior, but aside from that, the only handbag leather good that I have from Dior is this one and I bought this one on my birthday last year and I had to take the plunge before they had another crazy price increase and I'm so glad that I did because I mean every fashion house is doing it of course but especially Dior, Chanel, LV they are going crazy with their price increases we're talking about you know, 20-30% at a time and several times a year, which is insane. Anyway, let's not dwell into this topic. I've already talked about it on my last Q&A, which I will link up here. But yes, of course, I had to keep this one. This is not a bag that I use a ton, uh, especially because I bought it during the pandemic and it is a smaller size bag. It does still fit a max size phone. Um, but it's a tight squeeze and it's not the easiest to get in and out. Everybody goes out, right? Everybody has date nights or they have functions, they have weddings to attend. Everybody has those things in their lives. So you need something like this for those occasions. And of course, if I only had my Chanel flap, I would still take my Chanel flap. But I just find that having a proper top handle and a smaller size and just the cutest shape does really elevate a more evening look. So this is a no-brainer for me. Dior, Lady Dior, mini size, side by side. You could see that they are very different, but they are still so similar in a way because it just looks absolutely stunning either way. This one will look more of a white, like a lighter gray in daylight, whereas this one definitely has a more evening shade of gray like it has more of that darker sheen it's opalescent and it's just gorgeous another favorite brand of mine is louis vuitton of course i have to include it lv is the ultimate brand where most people will start off with and i have to choose the most classic of bags of handbags that i still own never full mm size and the most classic of print the monogram which comes in the Vachetta leather. And of course mine is well patinaed, 
but it's a great medium patina. I've had this one since 2000 and I want to say 17. It's either 16 or 17, I can't remember. Uh, no, it's earlier than that. It must be 15. It's one of the first bags that I bought since I started my YouTube channel. So it must be 2015 or 16. Anyway, it doesn't matter. So it does have a beautiful, beautiful patina. It is my largest size bag. I would consider this to be their entry level handbag, which I honestly don't care. For me, this is more of an utility bag. It is my functional bag. It is a bag that I would grab when I have a very big errand day and I just want to look chic. And this canvas and just this shape and this bag itself is the most classic of all totes, in my opinion. If I ever have to rebuy another tote, I most likely will still go with an LV tote. Uh, I most likely will still go with a Neverfull. I especially love this leather because they mold to my body more. Of course, it does patina, which not everyone is a fan of, but I am personally. Here's a close up of the patina. As you can see, it is not, you know, it's not like 100% perfect. You can still see some stains on it, but they are so subtle and it's near perfect, honestly. I. I'm so proud of myself when it comes to patina. It's a combination of knowing how to care for it, but also to uh, not wear it all the time because I, I don't quite wear a larger bag all the time. You guys know that. I'm pretty sure that I will still be able to wear this, rock this when I'm 60, which is only in 20 years time, uh, that uh, it will still be in great shape at that time. I mean, it would be more vintage at that time, but it's gonna be an awesome, it's gonna be my awesome tote that I will own for a long, long time. Celine Trapeze, and mine is in the small size. As you can see, it is, again, in superb, great shape. It is literally brand new looking, basically. I pride myself at taking such good care of my bags, but obviously I do rotate them, so it does help. But I store them properly, I use them properly, and I just really, really appreciate them. This is my only Celine bag, and Oh, these are just like the best bags from the brand. I honestly don't love everything new that they have right now. I mean, I appreciate them, but I just don't love them. When I bought this one, it was like, oh my gosh, so expensive. But <laughs> if you but if you think about it, the price of this Celine bag is the price of a micro bag today, like literally the same price. I'm not kidding, by the way. <laughs> I think this, when I bought it, it was like literally just over 3,000 retail, uh, plus tax of course, but like that was the retail price at the time. And when was that? Was it 2016? It was just like five years ago. It's insane, guys. Anyway, this is one of those bags where you just know it if you know it and it's also super well made it's full leather it's leather line as well so uh this bag is so super chic and i love this top handle here this top handle is the pride and joy of this style it also has the um shoulder strap and in fact even though it's not the same bag but when i look at the hermes 2424 i know i'm kind of going off topic right now but when I look at the design of the Hermes 2424 bag, which I think is super cute in the mini size, but I just hate that they actually attach the strap on the middle of the bag. It just irks me a little bit because especially if you buy it in the larger size, it will just pull from the leather, from the middle part of the leather, right? Whereas this one, it pulls directly from the top. It doesn't topple over or anything. Um, I mean, this one has its flaw too, but anyway, nobody wears this bag anymore, but I'm so glad that I still have mine because this is one of those where um, it doesn't have a ton of resale, of course, but it's just the most chic bag in my, in my opinion, in my collection that is not logo plastered, that is not the Chanel or the LVs, you know, it's just one of those super chic fashionista fashion blogger bag that I still own and proudly will say that will probably stay in my collection forever. Okay, let's switch gears and share some accessories. I have to talk about these glasses. They're not like super, super, super pricey, but they are absolutely, absolutely my favorite of all time. Like I would not wear any other sunglasses. I mean, I would, but I just always want to go back to these and these are the Oliver Peoples sunglasses. They pay a lot of attention in the technology of the lens 
and the fit and everything like they they're just superb these were the first glasses that started off the whole obsession which is why i went ahead and bought the gold and the black but the gray or the silver are my absolute favorite because they just really suit my skin tone dior or chanel or whatever i mean they make beautiful fashionable sunglasses but when it comes to actual like lens clarity comfort and just like even the weight distribution they are bar none like the best in my opinion <laughs> i have two items from cartier i do have also this fin justin clue ring which is an absolute favorite as well but if i have to choose the one item from the brand it has to be my fin love bracelet this is literally best purchase of my entire life like i wear this 24 7 it never comes off of my wrist anymore i used to still take it off when it was brand new and it was kind of like having my honeymoon phase and just trying to baby it but now it has its scuffs it has wear and tear and even then it's still so shiny and so beautiful i mean of course i can see all the wear and tear and stuff and i can show you up close when i do my review let me know if you guys want me to do the review anytime soon uh but i think it's time because i've been wearing it for four months and over four months now and um, I, I've gotten to know this bracelet so well. Those of you who have tiny little baby wrists like me then you would probably find my review quite interesting because I uh, don't see a lot of reviews talking about the 15 centimeter which I own and so yeah like literally this is my <laughs> absolute best purchase uh, and also if I had to redo it from scratch ever again, I absolutely will have to go back to Gartier and buy myself a love thin bracelet. And it has to be this exact one. I love this thinness. Uh, I love this thickness, which is more dainty. It suits my more dainty wrists. Uh, the size is perfect. The weight. This year has been my biggest year in terms of fine jewelry. I think last year was probably my biggest year for curating or finalizing my Chanel collection but this year is literally fine jewelry as well as Hermes I suppose so up next I wanted to talk about the current piece that is my absolute best piece from Hermes which is this beautiful ring this is the CDC ring if you are a follower of my channel then you would probably know that my holy grail wishless handbag this year is a Birkin, an Hermes Birkin, 25 size. And so I have started doing, you know, some shopping this year at Hermes, not some, a lot of shopping this year at Hermes. And so, no, I don't have a handbag yet. I think otherwise the actual handbag would be the one item I would choose from Hermes, but otherwise I have to go with another piece of jewelry, which I just went with this ring. I just love how it looks on this hand. It complements really well with my rose gold love bracelet and my Justin Clou. And even if I don't wear that, it still goes really well, but I just love the whole combination. I just love this whole look on this hand. I keep it simple on my left hand because I just wear my wedding set. But on my right hand, I can experiment with all the rose gold jewelry that i have i have another rose gold ring kelly ring with four diamonds this is the small size it's just that if i had to choose one i would still go with the cdc it just somehow just looks more interesting and it's just more edgy and uh you know i i love the juxtaposition of something dainty and then something edgy it just mixes up really well it's it's kind of my style really if i stack the two ring you can see the difference right this one is a little bit more demure has uh, a really cool nice simple clean design but i just love this one so much more for some reason uh, i do wear both um don't get me wrong i just depending on my mood but if i had to just go back and choose one i would still go with this ring this ring is absolutely stunning and just is so super interesting even without diamonds it shines and it's just has all these facets i have two more brands to show you and of course it's my ready to wear i don't have a huge huge collection of ready to wear but it is definitely growing and two of the brands that are my absolute favorite 
are Balmain and Self Portrait. So with Balmain, I struggled a little bit to choose which piece because obviously I'm already wearing one of my favorite, like literally my ultimate favorite uh, Balmain piece, which is this beautiful cardigan with the stunning buttons. It has the signature shoulder pads, but it is stretchy. It's great transitional wear and I can wear it as a top buttoned up or I can just unbutton it and wear it as an actual cardigan with a little tee. I also own the white version, so I had a hard time choosing between the white and the black, but I guess the black is more classic and also easier maintenance. But if I had to choose a close second, and I know I'm cheating at this point, if I had to choose a close second, I would have to say this denim jacket is like literally the most awesome jacket. It's like so cool. And I have just worn it in my recent video. It's just the most, it's just the coolest jacket ever. But if I had to choose one, only one item, I would still go with this card. From self-portrait, I had to go with the signature dress that they are known for. Every single year I pull it out to wear, and which is usually around my birthday, I get compliments left and right. This is probably my most flattering dress that I own that is so stunning no matter when you wear it. It's just a classic. I really, really love this dress so much and it's in my favorite color, red. It even has pockets, not that I use it, but it actually has pockets. This is not just your typical like cheap lace. Huh? This is a really thick, like it's a very thick, um, how do you even call this? I don't know how to call this material, but it's just a super thick 3D material. You can see like these 3D flowers on it. And it's a meaty length on me because I'm not very tall. All their models are super tall, so it looks like it's just uh, knee length on them. But on me, it's more like a meaty length. By the way, I was told a couple of things. Some people don't think that Self Portrait is a ready-to-wear brand. However, I also was told that they are. They are considered a creative ready-to-wear brand. So uh, that's what I thought because they do runways and everything. And uh, they, you know, celebrities wear it. And honestly, their stuff is beautiful. Hard to choose just one, but I chose this one because it is the most iconic piece that I have and that every time I wear it, I just feel like super special and just so, so, so elegant and pretty. That dress and the Lady Dior, mwah, super, super good combination or Balmain denim or this, even this with the Celine or the classic flap, just super, super combination as well. And of course you cannot go wrong with a Neverfull on just your most casual errand days. Let me know in the comment section if you would have chosen something different from my collection. Of course with Hermes, I think it's kind of not fair that I'm just choosing a ring, but I don't own a bag yet, so I can't choose my bag, my future bag <laughs> that I'm gonna be offered. But otherwise, let me know what you would have chosen instead, or if you would have chosen the same things. If you're brand new to my channel and you love this type of content, definitely subscribe. I would love to have you back. And also like this video if you've enjoyed it. I would really appreciate it. Thank you so much, and I'll see you again next week. Bye.